everyone, I'm Miss Bate and I'm Miss Vicker and welcome to our next instalment of teaching and learning videos. Today we're going to be looking at reading. Reading is a really important tool to have in your toolkit as a teacher. The Educational Endowment Fund said that effective comprehension can improve the reading age of up to six months. Ellsman said that from a young age children should be taught to read and use comprehension to gather background knowledge, hinterland information and also look at inference. This will drastically improve a child's ability to read. So today we're going to be looking at two strategies that you can use either in the classroom with your students or even at home with your own children to improve their reading skills. The first one that we're going to look at is paired reading. Paired reading can be particularly useful if your students are lacking in their influency or in articulating their ideas. The way that paired reading can read is that you take turns, sentence by sentence or paragraph by paragraph depending on levels of confidence, to help students out to read and mimic what they hear. This will help students become far more fluent and you can work together to improve your reading strategy. The second strategy we're going to look at is echo reading. This is a strategy whereby the teacher or the adult reads a short segment of text and the student or your child simply echoes it back. This helps people develop both expression and fluency as they hear the correct pronunciation of words and they also hear more ambitious vocabulary which they can then employ in their own reading. In a way, the teacher or the parent is modelling the necessary reading skills that are needed by the pupils. This is often really helpful for both SEM pupils and for higher ability pupils too. For SEM pupils it gives them a framework to work with when they hear your voice and for high ability pupils it can really help those pupils who can read well but might still struggle with articulating their ideas and fluency. This term the spotlight is on reading. Here's Mr Burke to explain more. Hi, I'm Mr Burke. I'm an English teacher and literacy coordinator here at St John Fisher and I'm here to speak to you today about reading and literacy. When you start St John Fisher in year 7, you'll have a reading lesson every fortnight in which you'll be given an accelerated reader book. Accelerated reading is the programme that we have here at St John Fisher in which we expect that you read a book every fortnight in order to do a quiz at the end of it. As well as your accelerated reading book, we also have at the moment currently 300 new books in the library. So now we have obviously thousands of books in which you can take out and read at home, which we obviously encourage for reading for pleasure. We also encourage your child to be reading at home as well. World Book Day was a great success this year and every child in the school managed to get a one pound token that can go towards a book at either Waterstones or Asda or local supermarket. Uh, thanks to obviously World Book Day, it means that your child can then own their own book or put one pound uh, towards a reading book as well. Another opportunity to own a reading book in year seven is Book Buzz. So Book Buzz is where you get a choice of sometimes 13 to 15 books in which uh, every child come up to Christmas as a nice little present uh, can choose their own book in which to read. We also encourage each pupil once they have the book as a book swap in the library so that if they obviously want another book that they saw in the videos that we show in English that they can then read that other book as well. We also have these books in the library so that once they've completed that book and maybe swapped with another student and classmate they can come and read the rest of the collection as well. Also in our assemblies we have been lucky enough to have guest speakers such as Seth Burkett who's a children's author and written a lot of uh, autobiographies and also football books. As well as that we've also had local poet Louise Fazakli who's coming in and done workshops with a lot of our classes as well. My top tip for reading would be to make sure that your child reads at least six minutes every night. Uh, it is proven that it can reduce stress by 68%. Now one way to do this is via our very new and exciting platform, ePlatform, which is an online reader where you can read ebooks online. You can access this during the stu student website and via our own website. Mm -hmm. 